What's up guys, it's Room here from Unbox Official and today we're talking about the Galaxy Note 4, so let's get into it. So y'all probably know the Galaxy Note 3 just came out like last month, but there's been like recently a little bit of leaks and rumors about the upcoming Galaxy Note device, so in this case Note 4, and I'm just going to talk about everything you should probably know uh, about this upcoming device. Uh, so first off, the release date is most likely of literally like a year from now, so September or October of 2014. Um, the design, there's barely been like a th little bit of leaks that's going to be like a metal slash aluminum kind of design. They're going to kind of move away from the plasticky kind of feel to it and maybe put a more luxurious metal aluminum coating on it. Uh, the screen size might change from like 5.7 to kind of a 5.8 to 6 inch display and display actually is going to be 1080p and um, there's been rumors this display, the actual display is going to be flexible, not the actual like the phone itself, but the display under the glass, so it'll be like harder to crack and break and stuff. It's most likely going to feature the uh, newest system of Android, so right now it's Android 4.4 KitKat, but possibly by next year, uh, Google might release uh, Android 5, I don't know, Keyline Pie or whatever they decide to call it, so uh, that might be on the upcoming Note 4 device. Camera you should expect a 16 megapixel camera with uh, 4K recording capabilities and 4K is a very very high resolution. The TVs cost like 5 grand so they're extremely expensive and shooting it is like extremely HD. You don't see like pixelation at all so it's real, pretty nice. Uh, front camera is most likely going to stay the same 2 to 3 megapixels along with 720p video recording. Uh, processor wise you should expect a 64 bit Xeno 6 octa chip which is the predecessor to the Exynos 5. There's been a ton of rumors that Samsung's actually working on a brand new chip. The Exynos 6 is going to be 64-bit. Uh, they're going to try to stay on par with Apple because their their chips are 64-bit, but they're still dual-core. So, I mean, octa-core 64-bit is going to be insane. My computer is still dual-core. It's not octa-core. So this phone, if it comes out, it's going to be like four times as fast as my computer, which is pretty sad. And it's also going to feature three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, there's also been rumors that they may include an eye scanner, so like uh, it scans your eye and you can unlock the device, move the screen with your eyes. Uh, they had like an event a couple months ago where they showed off an uh, eye scanner, like you look at a TV and you can move it with your eye, it's pretty cool. And uh, I don't think they're going to put a fingerprint scanner, but they also might implement it since Apple did, and they kind of always been copying each other, so Apple copies Samsung, Samsung copies Apple, and so on. Uh, you should also expect a ton of new S features and upgrades to the current S features such as S Health, S Voice, um, S Pen, stuff like that, so just expect upgrades to those. And price wise should stay the same as the Note 3 is right now, so $749 outright unlocked in Canada where, I, where I'm at, and uh, $299 on a two year term with like, I don't know, Bell, Rogers, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, pretty much any network since it's going to be like a hexaband phone. And it's also going to come in two variants so far, 16 and 32, along with the standard black and white colors. They might implement more colors later on, but that's not for certain. That's actually pretty much it. There hasn't been a ton of leaks, and there's barely been any, but anyways, I just want to make this short video to let you guys know about the upcoming Note 4. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.